Hello and welcome to an amazing woman interview. I'm Angela Court and I'm delighted to be here in this beautiful store in Lake Mary, Florida at the home of Susan's Treasure Chest and right here with the owner, the founder, and the visionary of this gorgeous store. Please welcome Susan Roberts. Hello Susan. Hi Angela, welcome to our store. Well thank you, it's wonderful to be here and I happened to be here a few months ago when you were just putting it together. Absolutely. Well congratulations, it's thank you. gorgeous. Thank you, thank you. It's been, a, it's been a real gift of love. Your store is so unique. Tell me about the different things you have here at Susan's Treasure Chest. Well, Angela, we really try. We go to one of the America's Mart in Atlanta. I've gone to Denver. I've gone to Biloxi. I've really gone all over looking for unique products, and I'm really looking for a lot of things that are made in America. I'm trying to get as many products as I can that are U.S. made products. Terrific. What are your store hours, real quickly? Then we want to find out about Susan. There, the store hours are Monday through Saturday. Monday through Friday is 10 to 6 and on Saturday it's 10 to 5. We're closed on Sunday. I decided if Chick-fil-A could be closed on Sunday so could Susan's Treasure Chest. <laughs> well I encourage everyone to come. It's really a beautiful store and if you need a present for a wedding, a birthday, to send to a friend or just something special for yourself, be sure and come down and see her store. It's very easy to find right here in Lake Mary. Susan, tell me about you. I know you're a business owner and a woman of significance here in the community and Lake Mary and Sanford. You've had your own personal journey that's really taken a lot of faith. Yes, I have. Um, my husband passed away like four years ago, about four and a half years ago now, mm -hmm. and we did everything together. And we just enjoyed uh, our life together. Yeah. We had a wonderful marriage, almost 20 years, and this was our vision. I mean, it never had been our vision. We're both from the corporate world, and we just I just fell into doing a store. It just kind of like the Lord said, you're now going to do this store. And so it just, everything happened. Now tell me, did you hear a voice from heaven that said you're going to do this store? <laughs> did you have an angel? Did you have a voice within you? Because a lot of women who are watching say, how do I know I'm hearing God's voice? What was, what were the, what were the, the components that you said, I really feel I'm hearing from God about business? Well, I really, my philosophy is if I'm going to be doing something, I decide, think about it, and I pray about it, am I going to do it? And then I just forge ahead and do it. And I figure if the Lord doesn't want me to do it, He'd be pulling the, the stops on it. And, and I've always worked that way in my business. It's been a very interesting journey that way. And it's a, su it's a successful journey for you. And congratulations. Absolutely. Your Absolutely. store, every time I'm in, the ladies and guys are coming in. Absolutely. And I was just here, and a lady walked in, and she brought her daughter, and she was showing her beautiful things, and you're having book signings and different yeah. events. Exactly. So congratulations exactly. for your success. Exactly. Thank you. So you're a woman of business, a woman who gets a goal, and you go after it, even after your Absolutely. husband passed away, and you're right. single now, and you're dealing with a physical Right. issue. What is that? Right. I have MS. Oh my and goodness. so that's been, it's been interesting. I was diagnosed with that in the 80s and I decided, well, I should maybe see if I really have it still. So I went back and, and went to the doctor. He said, well, yeah, you have. But he said, do you realize it's been two decades? And I'm like, is your point? What's your point? It's been two decades. He said, well, you're doing really great. So I don't, I don't, I don't live with it. I go exercise every day. I just do everything I need to do to just to keep strong yeah and, you and I don't dwell on it I don't dwell on it and I, I can vouch for that Susan I gotta yeah. tell you your yeah. vision for the yeah. life that you want to have and you feel like God's called you to is bigger Me than too. being a widow it's bigger than multiple sclerosis you are a true Absolutely. amazing woman in Absolutely. our community Absolutely. the women that are watching today they're dealing with disappointment or divorce or right. singleness or Something that right. they're saying, I just want to stay in the house and pull the covers over. Right. Why don't you look in that camera and encourage mm -hmm. them that they can do anything? You can do anything. And I did that. The, I buried my husband on a Friday and I opened the store on Monday. And everybody was like, what are you doing here? I said, why wouldn't I be here? This is what I do. Whenever, and this was my philosophy, whenever, I got, I've been divorced. And any, whenever there's been a tragedy or something in my life, I have always worked. Work was kind of my therapy therapy of getting to to what I knew to do and what I knew best to do. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I've always lived my life. Yeah. 
Well, thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thank you for welcoming us to your store. And be sure and check her out both on the website and uh, the phone. If you need directions personal or you just want to speak to her personally, be sure and give her a call. And make sure you come down and see all the beautiful things at Susan's Treasure Chest.